Hello, Jason here, and today I'm going to talk about tree roots and septic tanks and drainage fields. So many people ring me every week and say, oh, you know, um, I got tree roots that have penetrated the septic tank and the drainage field. What should I do? So what do many people do if they find themselves in a situation where the, the uh, roots from the trees are, have penetrated and are penetrating a septic tank and drainage field. Well, many people think it's a bad, bad thing. And for that reason, they replace the septic tank and soak away and spend thousands doing that. So is that the right thing to do? Well, no, I don't think it is. So let me show you why I think that trees and tree roots uh, are a septic tank and drainage field's best friend. Okay, so first of all, let me explain the pros and the cons of tree roots. So the cons, right? Yes, it is true that tree roots can over time penetrate and break through bricks and mortar and concrete and make their way into your septic tank, right? Now, initially when they do this, right, as the tree makes, um, penetrates through the bricks and the mortar, it makes a hole. But then because it grows thicker, right, it plugs up the hole. So it does one of two things at the same time. So the bad thing is with that, over the course of 100, 200 years, the tree roots, they grow very slowly, right? They will, uh, this is why trees are like three, four, 500 years old. They will eventually cause the wall to collapse or break down. And so let's face it though, most septic tanks in the UK are what, only 50, 60 years old, right? <laughs> so that I suppose is a downside of having a tree near your septic tank. That's what tree root damage can do, but it takes a long, long time. The pros of having trees and tree roots and shrubs near your drainage field, well, let me show you. Trees, like humans, are very, very thirsty things. Humans um, drink about eight liters a day. Now, a tree, right? Tree, trees are very thirsty, right? Th thirsty. And they drink right, anywhere from 10 to a thousand liters a day. Now just think about that for a second. They drink a thousand liters of liquid a day. They're very, very thirsty things, right? So if you've, the whole reason the trees roots number one have made their way into your septic tank and your soak away because they can smell water. It's true in the desert. For the scientists don't really know why they can smell where the water and the oasis and, and things like that, that are. That's why you get lots of palm trees around oasis and stuff. Obviously, the water fertilizes the seeds in the first place, but they can smell water. So they smell where your water is. All right. So when they actually reach their destination, because they're thirsty, they drink all the liquid inside your septic tank and soak away. Now that's a brilliant thing because number one, it empties your septic tank for you, which means you don't have to spend 200 quid a time getting it emptied. Number two, they suck out not just all the water and the moisture, but all the horrible poo and the wee and the pollution. They actually suck it out and convert it into safe, clean mineral fertilizer, right? So, it's an amazing thing. So you imagine a tree, it takes in CO2, it gives out oxygen, it sucks out all the pollution and the filthy stuff and the germs and converts it into safe, clean, organic, natural matter. So this is why trees are an amazing thing. So don't be worried or concerned about trees and shrubs and, and plants growing near your septic tank and soak away. Um, in fact, I recommend, to be honest, that you plant some trees and shrubs and, and bushes and stuff around your septic tank and soak away because they're more of a benefit. As I said, they're a septic tanks and, and drain fields best friend. So there you go. If you've got um, trees or, or, or you, you suspect that there's, there's uh, uh, your tree roots have uh, infiltrated your septic tank and soak away, don't let it worry you. I mean, on a, from another angle, right? Most, for the last 30 or 40 years, most septic tanks are made from fiberglass and plastic. So because they're a lot harder to penetrate than uh, concrete and mortar and stuff like that, they will spread around themselves around the septic tank rather than go through it. So nine times out of 10, if you've got a plastic or a, or, or, um, or, or a fiberglass septic tank, they won't have penetrated it. If they've penetrated your um, uh, drainage field pipes or your soak away, just leave them 
to do their job and that is to suck all the moisture and, and, and filth and debris out of there. In fact, they will keep your drainage field clean. So listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then just go onto YouTube, right? Uh, or, uh, or Google and type in septic tank uh, TV. And uh, there you'll find loads more videos like this, free videos giving you loads of free tips and advice regarding septic tanks and drainage fields. So listen, you stay safe, you take care, and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.